Although the Cold War threat of a catastrophic nuclear exchange has subsided, the possibility of a terrorist or rogue nation use of a nuclear weapon continues to be a major concern to our national security. To meet our nation's security needs, DITRA Nuclear Technologies develops the military standards that define nuclear threat environments and survivability requirements. We also assure that the facilities needed to develop and test nuclear hardened equipment are available for use. DTRA has the mission of assisting the services and defense agencies with understanding nuclear weapon effects, designing survivable mission critical systems, and testing those systems to assure that they can accomplish their mission if a nuclear weapon is used. When a nuclear weapon explodes in space, most of the energy is released as short bursts X-rays and gamma rays. This radiation can travel thousands of miles in space and is a major threat to our strategic satellite and missile defense systems. The DITRA West Coast facility is an experimentation facility just outside of San Francisco that tests the effects of radiation bursts on mission critical systems. While no single machine can produce the full range of nuclear radiation environments, the West Coast facility has a suite of X-ray and gamma-ray simulators that span a wide range of radiation test environments. The Double Eagle, the Python, the Modular Bremsstrahlung Source, or MBS, and the Pulse Rad 1150 are four major pulse power simulators in the facility that produce a wide range of X-ray and gamma-ray energies. Each simulator addresses different aspects of the nuclear radiation environment to provide test options to customers from U.S. Defense and Department of Energy programs. These machines have been used for decades to test new satellite and missile electronics and components. They are also used to conduct surveillance testing of critical components of strategic weapon systems to identify any potential effects of aging. The Minuteman 3 missile program uses the West Coast facility at least once a year and in fact almost every satellite in space has tested their operation and survival levels from gamma rays at the facility. The facility enables Department of Defense, Department of Energy, and allied customers to test mission critical systems ranging from Air Force satellites, Missile Defense Agency interceptor optics and sensors, to Navy and Air Force ballistic missile electronics and components. The newest system is the Short Pulse Gamma Simulator, an advanced technology machine that came online in early 2016. Its short radiation pulse provides a better test for modern high-speed electronics and reduces the radiation dose that may occur in satellite and missile electronics. When not directly supporting outside customers, the West Coast facility staff conducts research and development programs to improve their ability to meet customer needs. With increased concern about the potential use of nuclear weapons in regional conflicts or against the United States, the Department of Defense must be vigilant to ensure that our mission-critical systems can perform in nuclear environments. In 2012, DITRA reaffirmed its commitment to keeping these critical experimentation and simulation capabilities available. The West Coast facility provides the ability to customize nuclear weapon effect tests and model validation environments that address the full range of our customer needs. Whether it's for the warfighter, the Department of Energy, while military contractors and allied partners, DITRA Nuclear Technologies is making the world safer.